Hello! This is the third devlog and today I'm gonna show you how I approached random world generation in my action fishing roguelike game. So, I had two ideas what the randomly generated lakes could be like. My first idea was that the lakes could be big areas with their shapes resembling how actual real life lakes look. The problem with this is that putting any kind of level design element like small puzzles does seem quite difficult to make in a way that they appear seamless and would feel like an actual part of the lake. The second idea was to have a similar world generation as in The Binding of Isaac, where they have the world consist of rooms with each room having adjacent rooms to them. This kind of approach seems better option for my game, as it would allow me to have full control over the creation of each part of the lake. So, I'm gonna do it this way. My approach to this will be to have blocks that resemble a room, spawning in the middle one by one. Every time a room block is spawned, it will first check if the current position is empty. If it's not empty, it will choose to go either left, right, up or down. It will then check if the new position is empty and keeps repeating this until it finds an empty spot. When an empty spot is found, it stops moving and the next room block will spawn. This will go on as long as I reach the desired amount of rooms. If I were to make a world that resembles a real life lake, this current generation would be perfect for it. But as I'm looking for an Isaac-like generation, there's still very much to do. So, to achieve that, we are going to forbid the room blocks from making 2x2 two two formations. This helped a lot. However, the world feels very crowded and tight, and the layout could still be a bit more interesting. At this point I ran out of ideas how to further improve this. So I looked up how the worlds are generated in the Binding of Isaac. They have some blocks turned into dead ends. That means after a dead end is created, no other room can be attached to it, and it will only have one room leading to it. So of course, I decided to steal this system and put it in my game. Now it's giving me very interesting layouts. I also added the possibility to change desired room amount so larger rooms can be spawned as well. I did my best to optimize the generation, and I got it to generate the smallest levels in couple seconds. Large ones do take a bit longer, but I'm not very concerned about it, because I'm planning on covering up the generations with menus and cutscenes, in a way the player cannot even realize what's happening in the background. The generation itself is finished now. Finishing touches to this will be to make the room blocks be aware of their adjacent blocks, so when traveling between them, they have layouts that naturally transition from the previous area to the next one. And boom! Here we have the player moving between areas in the randomly generated lake. Even the map is working. It's looking a bit bland right now, but let's add some shapes and decorations to make the areas more interesting. The levels are still quite empty, but next week I'm gonna change that. This game is an action game after all, and it doesn't have any enemies. So it's time to add those. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did. You can also follow me on social media. See you next time.